Official Selection, the Cannes Film Festival. Official Selection, the Toronto International Film Festival. Official Selection, the Sundance Film Festival. Or maybe not. The biggest misconception that filmmakers have about film festivals is they're gonna go there, they're gonna show their movie, someone's gonna buy it, they're gonna have a million dollars, sweet, and they're gonna have a great career! And it's not that. I think it's almost impossible for a small independent movie to get into any big festival at this point in time. Sundance isn't an independent film festival anymore. The word independent has been stolen by the majors. Suddenly it was like, you can't be the film from nowhere that just explodes. If we made Clerks today and submitted it to Sundance, I don't think it'd get in. I really don't. There's a different route to go, and that is to play the small festivals. We go straight from the airport to the festival, and there's no one there. They want us to draw a whole bunch of people here, but I'm not willing to put that much work into it. Started out with the you broke and you're stressed and you still didn't sell your film. A few more along the way. Filmmakers have done some very interesting things to try and get their films programmed. I've actually received some death threats. We're quite forthright on our website that we accept bribes. <laughs> It'd be a lie to say that there wasn't some you know, sexual favors going on. Meeting every person at a festival is an opportunity. <laughs> there tend to be, at these film festivals, lots of girls, pretty girls. Hi! I can't answer this. I really can't. I will get so much trouble. Now I know. Would you die your film dies? Now I feel like a celebrity. Don't let any rejection stop you. Just don't give up. Don't give up. I'm strong with this, so me up. Your official rejection. Not enough of this. Gotta do some more of that. You wanna get into the big festivals. 